Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mia. I'm a first year kindergarten teacher. And today we finally made it to classroom setup, yay. You guys, I have been literally waiting for this day for like three years. We have the car packed full, okay? We're ready to go. So if you watched my last video, you know that I said I didn't know when I was getting in my room. Well, they told us yesterday that we can get in today. Um, and then I also informed you in my last video that I can just get in today and then I won't be able to get back in my room until next Wednesday because I'll be gone. So that kind of is sad. Our goal for today is to just get everything in the room and get it laid out and like just get as much done as we can. I have till three, it's eight. So I, I got like from eight to three. So I think that we'll be able to do that. I have a car full of stuff. My mother-in-law has a car full of stuff. And you guys, when I'm telling you that it has not rained in months, it's pouring today poor ring um so that's kind of sad um i'm wearing my cute kindergarten oversized tee with some short biker shorts today because i thought i would just be in spirit you know um okay so let's drive to my school and i will show you my empty classroom and i will um vlog me setting it up let's go this <laughs> Hey you guys, here is the room. So we still have numbers and everything we'll have to take down. We'll take down the colors and the alphabet. But yeah, this is it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that there or I'm gonna move it, but this is what it looks like. Super nice. Over here we have my desk. Um, this is all storage. But then my desk will be here. And I have this as storage too, which is great. So let's start getting stuff in here. sweating obviously but update I have my library I think I have everything set where I want it to almost so let me show you that so I went ahead and moved this area around to make it more open because I have my tent coming that's gonna go like there with the library um and so I moved like my reading table and put my little cart there I'm gonna take those down and put my own up but not sure I might push that more this way to make that whole space open because I have that and then I have that which I didn't realize I had and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it because I could totally make that student mailboxes so I wanted it to be accessible and then this will be the writing table um it will be a center and so I thought that, that was like a good place like it's like not too far I can still see them and then the carpet is still pretty much the same I'll put my own letters up. The TV will stay there because there's just really nowhere else for it to go. Um, but yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. And then I moved those bookshelves together and those, and remember the tent will be like somewhere in here um, and hopefully a rug will be there. And then obviously we'll decorate it and we'll put read up and stuff. So I have one bulletin board and then that's a whole whiteboard. And then I have a bulletin board here and a bulletin board out outside my room. So I'm really not sure, like I don't have that many bulletin boards, honestly, which I'm not like too mad about because the ones I do have are really big. So I am now gonna just kind of keep playing around with stuff and start putting stuff away that I can and I will update you soon. All right, so next I'm gonna do the bulletin boards, but I'm gonna wait, well actually, I'm gonna wait for my mother-in-law to get here to help me because I really wanna cover up the blue 
I'm thinking because like nowhere is blue in my like scheme at all. Um, so I might need to get like stuff to do that and so I'd have to wait. Um, but I am going to put together my rolly cart and my toolbox just to get like the boxes out of here. Um, there's a lot of like curriculum stuff left um, here. Like we have a bunch of math stuff here. We have math stuff here. Um, and then in all these cabinets, there's just like extra stuff. I can't get into either of these because I don't have the key yet. Um, but this is probably what I'm gonna do at the library. And I think I'm actually gonna put the tent right here to like enclose this area or like right here. Um, because I had to move my writing table back there because I needed my eye, my easel to be there and my I'll have a chair there. Also, this is where it was last year. If you don't know, I student taught in this room. So like, I don't want it to be exactly the same as it was because I want to make, make it my own. But that is where it was and that's where that was. But that was like that there. I like it open facing so I can see everybody. I don't know. I just like it like that better. Um, and then we have this. We're going to keep this area. It kind of has to be like that. I need to take down their alphabet, but I need better tape to hang up my alphabet. So we're making a little bit of progress. It's kind of like overwhelming. I need to take those down. I might go ahead and just take all of that down maybe and then put together my rolly cart. keep running into issues i want to do the rolly cart but i don't have a screwdriver and you need one um so we have to wait on that um i don't love the blue but i don't hate it but like the bulletin boards are blue and then that wall is blue um and i want to cover it with black fabric potentially but um i might just see like if i can do without just so i don't keep buying things for my room um like i know it's not gonna be perfect but my thing is i'll show you this is my calendar like that does not go with that like at all this would look so much better if it went up against something black um that's kind of why i'm just like because this is gonna be my entire calendar area um and so yeah i'm not really sure about that because i just really don't think that that would look good um so maybe i would just do fabric for this Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and laminate some things while I wait for my mother-in-law to get here and kind of help me with the bulletin boards and like figure out what I'm gonna do and get all the rest of the stuff in here. Okay, update, I have a screwdriver. I got one from my secretary. Um, and so now I'm gonna attempt to put this cart together. Um, I will just show you if I get it and it's done. I'm not really gonna show me doing it. My mother-in-law is about to be here though with all the, all the other stuff. So I will update you when we have more stuff in here. mother-in-law showed up and she brought the rest of the stuff we i'll show you kind of actually hold on let me just show you what we have first i just have this kind of older chair i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this padding but i do like the gray um and that is just next to my easel and then here is the tent i love it with um the chairs i really want to get a nice big gray rug right here to make it really cozy and fill um the tent with pillows and then we have our little lovely dinosaur right here he has a bunch of books that go with him and he's probably gonna stay there um i just put some bins in there i need to take the stickers off and label them and stuff i'm just trying to figure out what i want to do thinking this wall will be wow work um so yeah that's what it's looking like right now um i'm excited about the library area to kind of make it really cozy Okay guys, so this is what the border or the wallpaper looks like and we're gonna put like a white border around it I think and then do the calendar time 
we decided we're not going with this calendar because it literally just does not match it's marble it's just not it i'm just gonna have to find a different one okay so we went to the store and got better than paper for the outside bulletin board and then we got these honeycomb to go around the honeycomb paper because this is the same yellow so we're gonna put that up and see how that looks oh yeah we also got hot glue gun oh that feels so long. we got a hot glue gun everyone uses a hot glue gun it's okay all right we put the honeycomb around the board so this is where the calendar is gonna go and then that is where that is and we really like it because it does match this the tent doesn't obviously like match like i but i mean it's fine it's like light and neutral enough so our thing is is like anything that we put on this board will be like white and like very like plain obviously since this is kind of like a lot um and then we're like we lined up the alphabet to put up here and yeah this is just kind of what the room is looking like we're gonna put some of these up there i think and then um also on the outside bulletin board so yeah this is just kind of what it's looking like right now a little bit crazy but it's kind of we're making a little bit of progress Hey guys, okay, now we are doing the bulletin board on the outside of my room. Um, so we're measuring it, I have the scissors. And as you can see, she's doing a lot of it because she just knows what she's doing. Don't worry, I'm not like, she She likes doing this stuff, right Dana? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, update. Okay, so she is finishing, my mother-in-law is finishing up the border up out there and I'm gonna start on magnetic taping my letters. I'm actually gonna hang them on this whiteboard. Um, I'll show you guys in a second, but I have like half a bulletin board, half a whiteboard um, and I have a ton of whiteboard space back there. I don't even need this whiteboard. And um, like I said, I student taught in here last year. And so it's helpful because I know like kind of what they use. they have never used this. I sat back here no one used this board so i'm gonna kind of use it as just like decorating and making um it homey because like as you guys have seen there's a lot of like wall space and it's hard to fill it up to make it feel like homey so we're just trying to do that basically um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do the magnetic tape and i'll show you guys when i'm done all right so i like the positioning of reed but i'm gonna change all the yellow pom-poms to navy so it'll be navy in blue and white, navy and white, um, to kind of match this because obviously those yellows are different. Um, but I do like it. The magnetic tape works well. Um, so I'll have that above my books and all my books will be there. That's still looking the same. We have that up. This is going to be wow work. Um, that's up. And then I will show you guys outside. Okay, this is what this looks like. I love it. Obviously the mailbox is there. So that kind of is annoying but this is the border and I actually think it's really cute so I'm gonna put like some different stuff up here um, and also put all their names um, I'll show you my idea so for that border out there I'm gonna do their names on here and it'll be every other so it'll be like one of this one of that and that matches the border out there so that'll be like their names and my name out there all right so she is hanging up some posters right now um these don't really match my theme but we're gonna put them up here so like like really when you walk in the room you don't really see them um but they're good to just like have they're just digraphs consonants and beginning and ending blends and then we're waiting on the alphabet because i need to print some stuff out and then i am over here working on putting stuff away in these organizers I still need to make a ton of labels and stuff for everything, but we're kind of getting this area situated, so. All right, guys, so we are now kind of doing my desk area. We're waiting for the laminator to um, heat up to laminate my posters. Um, so I'm gonna show you what Dana's doing. So we went ahead and put the honeycomb there, but we're gonna put all white right here, but then put border around it and then put my name. So that's kind of what we're working on right now. Um, everything's kind of still looking the same over here. Gotta redo that. I'm moving my books over here. 
So, I mean, we've made some progress today. We can't hang out the alphabet yet. Um, so, yeah, we saw a lot to do. But we hung out. Oh, we hung All right, guys, we are heading out. That is it for day one. I will show you one more spin of the room. We'll be back here in almost a week to go to day two. So, we obviously have the bulletin boards. We have all of that done. Um, we moved some stuff around. We moved to the writing table here and then moved this here and brought this back out. Oh, I like the big books there. We put the big books there. I'll, we have to hang this. Um, this will go there. Library is still the same. Um, we put the books over there. And hey guys, okay, it's me editing. I hope you enjoyed day one of classroom setup. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss day two and me finishing my classroom along with filming the first day of school and everything like that. Um, I hope that you are having a great day or a great week and I will see you in my next video.